Hello, hello. We are playing more Portal 2. The classic Valve intro that always disturbed me as a child. There is no escaping it. Well, I guess I probably just won't play any Valve games after this, but at any rate. Uh, yeah, jumping back into this. Don't want to stream to my friends. Uh, thanks. I am going to simply make video for other people to watch. We're going to continue. So far it's been going pretty well. Really enjoying myself. Very excited to see that people are excited to watch me play this game. Um, maybe it was worth never playing it for no reason all this time until I had this little YouTube community to share my experience with. Yeah, that's okay. That's that's uh, an acceptable excuse. Okay. Uh, I think we just left the elevator, right? Yeah. I think that you can hear the fan whirring up there. Lots of really cool ambient noises in this game. So we're going to deal with turrets. GLaDOS mentioned that turrets were going to be involved here. So, uh... Uh, we can't portal our way over there. We can just pick turrets up, though. Aww. And we can, you know... Once they've dropped, they're kind of disabled. Um, that was a bad idea. Uh, so there's kind of like some... Oh, it saw me through the portal. There's, you know, like kind of FPS type tactics that you have to do in uh, Portal 1 to deal with uh, turrets. That was mostly very late game stuff. Um, I think there's only one like test chamber that actually deals with uh, turrets. So what if we made it shoot itself? Is that a thing? I don't think so. Now we can sneak up from behind it. But yeah, I don't know. I don't really play FPSs. I haven't since uh, around when Portal 1 came out. I played some Team Fortress 2 at the time and, and played some Counter-Strike when I was even younger. Oh, and I played Halo 3 for quite a while. I guess I have played like a decent amount of FPSs. But, uh, goodbye. <laughs> um, yeah, this like sneaking around corners, thinking about line of sight and stuff. I can see why they would want to combine that with the fun of uh, thinking with portals, but it doesn't do a whole lot for me. I'm, I'm interested in more like puzzle-y type things than these sort of tactical type things. Like this, this is a, a fun puzzle. Bonk. Can we get our cube back? No, not like that, because, uh... oh, there's more cubes over here. Punk. It's fun. I like that bullets are flying out of the portal. That's pretty mind blowing. Now we can go down here. Uh, ooh, a lot. These puzzles seem a little more like freestyle than uh, oops. a lot of the puzzles in this game, insofar as I probably just could like run through this. And, uh, you know, just try not to get hit. Okay, this is the epitome of cruelty. Whoa, I didn't want you to go in there, sorry. Um, no, <laughs> not you. Okay, a little turret on turret violence. Don't feel great about it, but... We do what we must. Oh! <laughs> uh, I guess we take a cube. The soundtrack here is kind of apocalyptic. It's big grating noises. Maybe that's just sound effects. Well, that one's taken out. That one just saw me for a second. Uh, I guess we go back and get the last cube to drop on this guy. Yeah, it feels like I could have just, you know, just like FPS them out if I really wanted to. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. I don't blame you, it says. Uh, poor little turrets. Oh, gosh. I, uh, I think this is what I'm supposed to do. We're kind of breaking out again. This is not test chamber type area. But you know, this is kind of sophisticated looking, this door. That's a type of door we haven't seen before, but it's operational and, uh, oh, that was quite an abrupt loading screen. We, we've had a couple of these abrupt loading screens. I guess it's okay, I, I don't know. I remember in Half-Life 2, it would just uh, pop up. She doesn't seem freaked out by the fact that I'm, like, in here uh, as this ex section of the laboratory assembles itself, it seems. can have a look around. I doubt we're meant to, like, escape, escape from here. This looks like more of just sort of a little cinematic adventure. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, back into the test chamber. All right. Maybe that was GLaDOS's plan all along. So what do we got going on here? Uh, we have to trigger all of these simultaneously, and we have one cube and one portal. I suppose that suffices. Uh, so right now it's going towards a portable, port portable wall. So this works. And then, uh, you know, here as well, here. Here, 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 there we go. I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years. Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Hmm. Technically, it's Is GLaDOS going to make me immortal? Gladys is going to make me immortal so she can test me forever and ever and ever, perhaps. Hmm. And, and is this actually going to happen in the game, or is this more just uh, Glados empty that threats? You're wearing looks stupid. <laughs> That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine, but right here, a scientist has ah, noted that's that how it works. Looks stupid. Well. What does a neck-bearded old man know <laughs> about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. She has a... What does she know? Oh, wait. It says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. <laughs> okay. So, we have access to the light bridge. We can, uh, bridge a little barrier here. Okay, uh, but then as soon as I, hmm, oh, I can't, little buddy. You're gonna go in here. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, lots of turrets. Turrets guarding uh, a box. So I guess we're gonna make ourselves a little shield. This blocks for now. So we're gonna keep moving the orange portal. I have to like remember to remind myself of that. So lock this way now and this flings us up to the higher area no what huh? uh, can we this is unportalable how do we get anything from this uh Hmm. More 
turrets there. I'll block this again. Uh, so what are we even trying to do here? I want to get up there so I can go take the cube, right? And then we can press this button, open this area, and uh, I guess drop the cube on these guys after, or something. Or just pop in behind them. Um, so, you know, we can put, ah, we can put the barrier like this, and then we fling and stop ourselves. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> Aw, they're so cute. Uh, crap. Uh, uh, okay. So, sorry, guys. So now, um, let's put the barrier across first. So they don't just insta kill us. And then we can just, uh, oh shit, you can see me? What? Okay, all right, I guess you can see me. Um, we're blocked here. So we can, you know, well, but as soon as I move the portal, we're not gonna be blocked. So I think we just do this, and then like this. And then you guys, you know, you're fine. <laughs> the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. Hmm. So that's interesting. Hmm. Does that mean I was born into the Aperture Science test research program? Is that hinting that my parents were also in the program and they just gave birth to me as a test subject? Oh, these are some interesting designs. Pink turret, zebra turret. Ah, oh. is it going to be my parents? The heck is this gonna be? Oh, I thought that was like a spider mech for a second. There's a little turret lurking in there, I suppose, isn't there? Yes. Who's there? Okay. What does this do? That turns on a laser beam. Oh gosh. Oh, I don't like this. Oh no! 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 My turrets! Okay. And, uh, does my portal gonna always make this noise when I'm picking something up? Am I crazy or does it not usually make that noise? Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm on fire! <laughs> no! No! No, my turrets. <laughs> if it wasn't for the subtitles, I never would have recognized this song. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, and nobody would deny, I believe. So are we gonna meet our parents? What's about to happen here? I I really would be surprised if there's like more characters than just me, GLaDOS, and, and Watley. And of course the other narrator voice that hasn't been for a while. <laughs> oh jeez, GLaDOS. That's dark. That's dark. All right, what do we got going on here? Cube blocking laser on beam of light. The beam of light can be moved, but not stopped. So we can go get on the beam of light, then we can put it on the block, and then presumably that makes the elevator 
Well, the, the laser beam makes the elevator blow up, go up. All right, so let's go over here. Get this. That makes the elevator go up. So we have to block. Oh gosh. All right. I'm glad the laser is an insta kill. So if we put this on here, now that door is open. Um, so how do we stop the laser whilst uh, the elevator is down? Well, we can do... Hmm. We can do something like this. Go back out. Um, so let's take the cube with us. Uh, and we, uh, we take the cube over here, block it over here. Then uh, we, you know... Ooh, wait a minute. I see, I see a secret that we should check out first. I got myself disoriented here. We have to go like this way. No, it was this this way. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So again, I feel like this is just like a, a little auxiliary secret. I'm not gonna drive myself crazy figuring out how to explore this too much. This music starts playing again. This is so cool, because so much of this game, even more than Portal 1, although the, the area is so dilapidated, it has such like a Disney World feeling. Just the, the type of humor involved, and like the... Just this like follow along, there's going to be lots of kind of pre-set up surprises. This thing like seeing, only not with my eyes. Ooh. Ooh, what could it mean? Um... But yeah, but then, you know, the feeling of going behind the scenes at Disney World is quite exciting. I wish this could shoot stuff like a gravity gun. Every time I pick up something, I have this small inclination that I should be able to fire it off. This is really cool, the shadow of the fan. Evangelion feels. Looking for Kaiji out here. Uh, tenacity. Interesting. There's shell. The bell invites. Hear the turret for its knell that summons to heaven or to hell. A bunch of little turrets here. The phases of the moon is interesting. When I was skipping through the previous video, I saw a drawing of a cat that I really liked in a similar sort of rat nest. And the cat was jumping over the moon. But now that I think about it, the nursery rhyme is the cow jumped over the moon. So maybe that's irrelevant. <laughs> um, but there is some moon imagery showing up all over the place here. Oh, we can portal out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is weird. I, I didn't expect there to be something portal-able portal out here. Let's take some junk. Let's uh, load up the test chamber with junk. Give me a compooper. I want to pick up a compooper. All the coffee cups in the world aren't going to weigh down a switch. Now maybe we can't take compooper. Only coffee cup and bean can. This is weird. Why can I do this? Lop. Lop. Okay, maybe that's enough. Is there anything else to see around here? 
I guess I should check more thoroughly if there's stuff that we can portal onto. Okay. Oh, that's ominous. Look, you can see the drawing of shell. Uh, where's all my trash? Yeah. Nice assortment of trash. Will the water jug do what cube cannot? No. Gravity gun. All right. Um, so what are we doing here? We have to get onto the elevator while, oh, I see. Okay, so we make, first let's get up here. Uh, with with the cube, then we uh, make a little bridge over. Oops, wait a minute. Make a bridge over troubled waters. That lowers the elevator. Then we get over here, stand on the elevator. And then we we make the bridge go wherever. Yeah. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, mm, surprise right What the now. heck's gonna happen? All these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. My parents? What to expect? I I just don't think the plot is gonna go in that sort of direction. The the heartwarming reunion between Shell and her parents. Her parents who have likely been dead forever since like pretty much everyone else involved in Aperture Labs is dead. The surprise. I love surprise. Oh god. I hate surprise. surprise. Ah, I, I got, I got startled. Two, one. I had a startle. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Oh man, I should have seen that coming. Yeah. Parents, no. Look at these really old computers. This is so weird. Like, how long has Aperture Science been around for? Oh. Uh, so there's a turret over there. Oh, this is just open, I see. Uh, excuse me. That's not nice. That's not fair. I guess we're gonna laser you. Can we? Is there? Yeah, yeah. Cause it's aiming over. The, oh my God, that's not cool. Oh, so first we need a redirection cube. Okay, let's make a a blocking wall. Can you stop? Um, where can we put that? Uh, I guess we need to do like a little bridge over troubled water action here. But. It looks like the turret is perhaps invincible. Oh, so we can uh, take cover, just like a cover-based FPS. Oh, I hate it. La 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 la. <laughs> uh, maybe I don't hate it. It's it's novel enough. Oh crap. Um, okay, that's fine. Oh, there is already a wall here. All right. Uh, you know. What is my plan? Like, what are we even trying to do? There's a cube that can come out over there, a redirection cube. I don't see what button makes that pop out. Eventually we're gonna laser such that we hit all five of these little devices. Seems doable. So I guess let's try running over here. God, stop, stop. No, you made me jump in the water. <laughs> Friggin' turret. So it looks like the turret is just invincible in this one. Oh my god, oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. It looks like the turret is simply invincible. Um, and it's just a matter of uh, doing the rest of the puzzle with the added challenge of the turret. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I, I'm not good at this. Should I, am I supposed to be good at this? I'm dead. Wait, what? 
Why did the... What? Why... What? Why did my bridge disappear? What the hell? Ah! I wish I had a different respawn point. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. No. Okay. No! What? That's cheating! Th that's what this is for. Ah, I don't- I don't know if I like this one. This is too, like, finicky. It's too- it's too action gamey. Okay, so... Ah! Ah, stop it! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! Okay, what am I even doing when I get over there? Uh... I do not know. It's not like I can make it up to those platforms. Currently, there is no way to redirect the laser, as far as I can tell. We need the cube that comes from over there. Uh, I guess we'll just make a run for it. Stop. 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 Oh, I see. When you die, your portals close. So what happened is that I actually got shot to death. S Jesus! Uh -huh. Okay. Uh. Oh, there's also a cube that drops over there. Um, but where are the things to make the cube drop? I suppose I can just normal portal over there. Yeah, what am I doing? I can just normal portal over there. So, la la la. I don't have to bridge walk. I can just normal portal. Okay, so this makes the cubes come down. <laughs> Lame. Okay, so we need to make a little blocker. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. And then we press the button again. Easy. EPLS. Now we normal portal back over there. Uh, now we can start. Man, I gotta start thinking with portals. Why was I about to walk all the way over there? Now we can start, you know, doing this stuff. So that's two laser. So then we need the other one to be... Ah, you motherfucker! Uh... No, wait, we want... Yeah. Do-do-do, do-do-do. I feel like I'm not doing this right. <laughs> I feel like there's something more elegant that's supposed to happen. Because right now my strategy is just to run over there with this. Well, wait on, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Eh, uh, gotta go back. See what the heck's happening here. This got like shoved somehow. Maybe it got shot. Try to like center it so it, it doesn't sketch out again. Okay. Ah! <laughs> ah! I don't like that. Uh, okay. Okay. Like right now my plan is just to run with this over there and push it, put it there and hit those two. It says there's five, five things that need to be lit up. Where's the fifth one? Oh, I know what I can do. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, there we go. I should have just thought about murder. I could have. So 
now to actually get over here, we need to light bridge. <laughs> just glad I was doing a voice. Maybe they worked at the phone company. We recorded that specific message. All right, in this half an hour, we'll uh, check out the next chamber in the next episode. Man, it took me so long to think about just murdering. Oh, hello. That's so silly. Five more chambers, okay. I don't know if that's legit or not, but I guess we'll find out. See you next time, bye-bye.